It's one of the great ironies of modern society. Many children idolize professional athletes, but then fail to make fitness a priority in their own lives. Government reports show a third of American kids are now overweight, and the problem is especially widespread in low-income neighborhoods. Now, NFL champions Sam Madison and Patrick Sertan are making a play to change all of that, and they're here with Lisa Gable of the Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation as part of our My Health series. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to have you here, and Lisa, thank as good always. To see you. Thank you. Love to have you on the show. And let's start with you, Lisa. How do professional athletes help? you with your goal of reducing childhood obesity. Well, the Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation was very excited to partner with Enplay Foundation, which serves as an umbrella organization for 36 athletes, each of whom have their own foundations. And so we are able to bring these opportunities to the public and make sure that people are aware of all the different services that are available to them in their communities. Now let's talk about your foundations. You each have impressive foundations on their own. Sam, let's start with you. What's your uh, foundation? Yes, I started a foundation in uh, 1998, Madison Avenue for Kids. I'm from a small town out of Monticello, Florida, North Florida, where we didn't have much. So I want to give an opportunity to at-risk youth to be able to show them different things. And I've been able to do that so far over the number of years I've been down here in South Florida. You're a great role model for those Thank kids. You. Now, Patrick, you have a pretty amazing foundation of your own as well. Tell me a little bit about it. Yes, the uh, Patrick Sertan Foundation and just seeing the devastation that happened to my community in my, my city of New Orleans, mm -hmm. I decided to, to start start something up there after Katrina. What kind of activities do you focus on? I actually uh, had a camp for the kids, you know, a free camp, a, a family day in the park where all the, all the families, you know, come out, enjoy some, some good New Orleans food, some, some oh, good nice. music, <laughs> uh, games, just just something to take their mind off the devastation that that actually happened to them. Now, you both obviously have done really impressive things on your own with your own foundations, but you've now come together and you're doing some really great work in the Miami area. Sam, tell me about it. Well, we created a company called Arrow Athletics where we'll go and we'll pick your kids up and bring them to our facility or, or even at your school to where we're going to get your, your school work out of the way. And that's what we were trying to push first, education, and then we get out on the field and show them the skills and the drills that we've learned over the last umpteen number of years that made us a professional athlete. Tell me what kind of activities you do with these young people. Uh, we're probably the only company out there that the professional athletes are actually training with the kids. How cool. So, you know, like Sam said earlier, they get the touches. They, they get to see what, what we, we went through. One thing we did with, with them, uh, we took them on a tour of the Dolphin Stadium, let them see different things, let them even see me and Sam, because a lot of these kids, they didn't believe it. Right. So they, they saw a picture of us. Oh, man, y'all guys were pretty good. <laughs> you know, a lot of these kids are coming from, you know, adverse situations, and they don't have a big brother or a father figure to look up to. And not only do we want to get these kids in shape, but we want to be a mentor to these kids. And, right. you know, that, that's the next step we're trying to take. Well, you're absolutely changing lives, I'm sure. And, Lisa, I know that you're so pleased to have these guys on board. But these they're not the only professional athletes that are involved with the Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation. Yeah, the Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation works with Paul Pierce from the Boston Celtics. We have the Annika Foundation, which is really aimed at junior golfers. And then the PGA, which has family golf. And so it's really wonderful that all of these athletes have come together and they're each trying to help solve this problem through small steps. It is really, really amazing. You're doing such great work, Lisa, and we love, again, having you here on the show. And gentlemen, thank you again so much for joining us and for what you are doing to help young people. Now, to learn more about the InPlay Foundation's efforts to fight childhood obesity, check out InPlayFoundation.org. And if you'd like tips on how to talk to your child about maintaining a healthy weight, visit EnergyBalance101.com.